here's Papa. Hello, 45 Alpha Charlie Papa channel, and we've got a treat for you today. Um, one of my uh, fans of the channel is going to let me try out his Smith & Wesson 1006. 10 millimeter, 06 means it's in the stainless. Third gen Smith, um, this ought to be really fun. Single stack, 10 millimeter. Uh, I get to check another bucket list off, light item off the list this week. Um, this weekend I shot a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Never shot that before. This is my first shot time shooting 10 millimeter. So let's see what all the fuss is about. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful handgun. I love these Smith & Wesson grips. Uh, I just like the looks of them. Um, adjustable rear sight. We are don't have a magazine in it. We are empty. So let's load this sucker up. Take a few shots. He gave me a couple magazines here to play around with. Uh, and we'll give you my, uh, my thoughts on it. But fit and finish is beautiful on this. Uh, really really nicely done i've picked up some of these third gen ones there must be some of the later ones that um you know the the fit and finish was good but they were so big and blocky uh, this one uh, thin uh, they really took their time to, to make this this was probably not a very inexpensive smith this is one of the higher ends uh, at the time so let's go ahead and, and put a few rounds down range um, this is going to be one of the probably the later models uh, because it does not have the hook on the trigger guard here. Um, it is textured, so you can put your finger up there, but you don't have the, the hook or the square. Uh, this is more of the rounded trigger guard. So this is going to be a little later model, uh, a little newer model than, than some of the other ones you see out there. But again, let's get some rounds down range and uh, see what we think of 10 millimeter and the Smith and Wesson. All right, let's load it up. They all say 10 millimeter is the best millimeter. We shall find out. Uh, this should be a sweet gun. I've got that uh, 6904, that blue uh, compacted 9 millimeter that I really like. But uh, boy, this is a beautiful gun. Let's give it a try. Oh, that recoil's not bad at all. I think I'm shooting a little low. That's putting a nice little group down range. Uh, for me, I'd say it's shooting about two inches low. Um, I'm sure these, I don't know if these are reloads or factory. Um, it is shooting a little low for me, but you do have the adjustable sights. So uh, for those people who, um, you know, it shoots a little different uh, with my eyeglasses. Sometimes my sight picture is a little bit different than other people who use it. But man, that is a, a nice tight group. I'm really impressed with that. Now, they only made this pistol from 1990 to 1995, and total production was right around 26,978. Not a whole lot for that six-year run. 10 millimeter was kind of a niche caliber at the time. Uh, the FBI was really looking into it, and then they went to the 40 Smith and Wesson. They just basically shortened this round. This feeds from a nine-round single-stack magazine. If you're looking for magazines for these, they are quite expensive. They can get to that $100, $120 range easy. Nobody's making current production magazines. So if you're going to get magazines, they've got to be new old stock or used old stock. You can see here the uh, adjustable rear sight. It's got the protective wings on both sides. Very common to these third generation Smiths. And if we look at the trigger guard, we can see the checkering cut on the front of the checker gu trigger guard. Um, Give you that finger grip if you want to put your finger up there like they did back in those those days this was always a round trigger guard they did not make this model in a squared off trigger guard fit and finish as you can see is beautiful on this um, it's just all all around a really good looking gun let's shoot it some more get your perspective from the other side of the gun
starting to climb up for me. Maybe I'll switch it a little bit. Considering first time shooting 10 millimeter, first time shooting this gun, really impressed with the groups. That one opened up a little bit, but it actually came up a little bit. So I may have been flinching a little bit on the on the first shots, but man, she is a sweetheart to shoot. Um, 10 millimeter, not something to be scared of. Um, really uh, pushing those bullets down range uh, pretty quick. I can see where all the fuss is about 10 millimeter. Now, as with all Smiths, you've got a safety decocker here on the side. So that decocks the pistol, but it puts it in safe. Um, about not much you can do about it. You do have a magazine disconnect. Magazine disconnect, so when there's no magazine in the gun, you cannot shoot it. But when you put the magazine in, you know, double action. Not bad at all. Um, a little bit of grit in there, but very, very little. Uh, very, I'd say that's probably eight pounds, maybe nine, probably closer to eight. Pretty smooth double action. Pretty nice crisp break. Um, your single action. I really like the break on, on these old Smiths. They really knew how to do it. Resets really quick. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, single action on this gun. Um, model 1006, get you one. This is 45 Alpha Charlie Papa channel, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.